I, I mean, I still wake up some mornings and can't believe that I was diagnosed with breast cancer. My name is Sandra West Lashinsky, and I'm the wife of Sergeant Major Joseph Lashinsky. He is the Sergeant Major for 1st Battalion, 24th Marines. I think that this is such a life-altering experience for both of us. Um, I've never been through cancer before, and he's never been through a war zone before. And I have every intention the rest of my life doing what I can um, to help other women and families going through this. My name is Jenna Hankins. Um, I was recently diagnosed with leukemia and I was lucky enough to, uh, a few weeks ago, have a friend of mine, Sandy Lashinsky, contact me. She um, had heard that I was diagnosed and was concerned about me and how she could help me. And she offered to um, take me to the place where she got her wigs and introduce me to Karen, who helped her tremendously. It looks like the, the style you were wearing when, when we first had our first date. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget that. <laughs> I think especially as a woman, you associate being womanly with certain physical attributes. And when you lose those attributes, it makes you feel like less of a woman. And um, to get that back is, is an amazing thing. She's got a hair Then hold that, down. and I'll pull this down in the back. And it should cup your head. Oh, look at you! Is it oh too far in the gosh. front? Can you see that? Oh. I think something's caught underneath, out. Karen. Yeah, it's so this. long. That, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh! And then you just kind of wow. Look we at get you. <laughs> it's a very, very pretty color. Oh my gosh, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. I mean, you were beautiful before thank you put you that so on that. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Turn around so I can say. Yeah. Isn't yeah. she good? You look too Congratulations. young. Congratulations. <laughs> you I love you. She looks too young. You. You're going to get in trouble. Yeah, right? you're going to get in trouble, mister. <laughs> this is the smile. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is the smile that I can't give her. I know how difficult it was for my husband. Um, to go to Iraq knowing that I wasn't through with my treatments. Luckily, her husband, uh, Maureen, was in town and was able to be there for her. I'm very happy for her because I don't know how she would have gotten through it without him. But the, the happiness to see on his face, seeing her just beam when she first put her hair on, I mean, you, it gives me chills just thinking about it still. It was so wonderful for me to be able to, to guide her through what I had learned pretty much the hard way on my own. You, you, you ask yourself, why me? But I do think that there's a reason for everything, and you don't always understand it when you're going through it. I am so happy for you. Oh, can I give you a hug? Yes, please. You know, just having someone there while you're getting your treatments. I think having him back. You know that. He will really feel good because he's here and he can uh, help guide me through. Now, I still need infusions every week of Herceptin. I've only had someone with me twice, so it's, it'll be really nice to have him there. I'm, I'm actually, I never say this, but I'm, I'm proud of myself for, for getting through it. Like a bendy. Oh, okay. A little bend. So you there, just, so you just push it, it in. Uh, yeah, I form, I form yep. it. And that's how I know it's on straight, too, is I go, I go yep. just like and this. Congrats. And then I